Conrad Saltz, three times Exeter World Champion, two time Olympian, South African, and proud of it. I grew up in Pretoria, South Africa, and um, I started uh, first, my, the first bicycle I rode with no training wheels. Uh, I was three years old, and my dad took me to the local golf course and he put me on the putting green with this little bike with the balloon tires this big. And uh, he put me on the bike, he gave me a push, and there I started. I started riding, and within a couple of days, the golfers were complaining that uh, I was turning too sharp and my pedals were making divots in the, in the putting green, so they didn't want me to ride on the golf course anymore. <laughs> so I think my learning curve was really steep, and uh, I fell in love with bikes right away, and my whole career since, since then, I've always been obsessed with bicycles. Um, when I was seven years old, I started BMX racing, and uh, my parents took me to back of the moon outside of Pretoria with a BMX racing track and I raced there for probably three, four years BMX. And uh, when I was 14, my mom bought me half a, a road bike for, for my birthday and I had to buy the other half. Uh, and that's where my passion for road cycling took off. I took out a license and I raced as a licensed uh, junior schoolboy. Um, of course, I'd been, I'd been running competitive, very competitively actually, from the age of about 10 at school, track and field. I did um, the 1500 and the 3000 and I ran cross country during the winter, so I've basically been running since I was eight, um, racing BMX and road bikes from junior, junior high and high school. So um, when mountain bikes came out and they were a very far-fetched idea, I was, uh, I was 15 years old and uh, my mom bought me a kind of a mountain bike and it was pretty amazing to me how you could just ride anywhere there's no roads you can you can just basically take a little footpath and see where it goes and see how much of it you can ride and i spent my days when the other kids in school were smoking behind the classrooms and um, enjoying things that young kids enjoy like going out and drinking and hang hanging out with girls i was obsessed with bikes and always rode bikes um, my parents were both very sportive and um, my dad ran his whole life and he did gymnastics and my mom was also a runner. Um, so my dad and I did our first triathlon together. Uh, I was 14 years old and he, he had a bike and we were training together and running together and we started in 1988 our first triathlon and he still to this day um, cycles. He's, he's got a specialized epic that I gave him for Christmas. and. Every Sunday he rides, he's 66 years old now, he had cancer a couple of years ago and he completely overcame that and used uh, the bike as, uh, as therapy really to, to prove to himself um, his, his well-being and his health and, and his enjoyment of life and the outdoors. So whenever I'm on the farm with my parents, I, every Sunday I go ride with my dad and it's, it's pretty special. When I started my career as a professional triathlete at the age of 18 uh, in Pretoria, um, South Africa when triathlon was still, it wasn't an Olympic sport, uh, South Africa was still boycotted uh, globally because of uh, apartheid. Um, I would never have imagined being able to wear uh, the rainbow stripes or to be able to, to ride the best bikes in the world and, and get paid for it. So being able to, to represent the best in the world with the rainbow stripes and the best in the world with the brand of bikes that I've been riding for the past nine years is a, is a dream come true, really. If my career ended tomorrow, I would be happy with, with what I had achieved and uh, be really proud and uh, can't wait to have grandkids to tell the stories and show the race numbers and I'll frame my jerseys and keep, keep a couple of old bikes um, to remind me of, of the great things and the great um, memories that sport has allowed me to um, to have through, throughout my career. Coming from, from the background that I come from, I think it's, uh, it's quite special. Well, um, I met no Ned Overend at my first Xterra in 2001. Um, my first year racing Xterra, I was, I was actually a road triathlete. Um, and I went to America to start racing Xterra and I didn't have a mountain bike at the time, I only had a road bike. Um, so I borrowed mountain bikes before every, every triathlon, I would borrow um, a mountain bike and the bikes were all really bad. The first one was a soft ride with the, with the beam and had a flexi stem and it, um, I had my own pedals and I had uh, a pair of tires, those yellow Michelin Pythons. I traveled with that and then I borrowed bikes and that's how I was racing and it's my very first race. Um, 
I was second on the bike and I dropped the chain and I was busy getting the train out of the uh, front derailleur and Ned Overend and Steve Larson came blowing, blowing by me on the trail and uh, I eventually caught them on the run and uh, what really struck me uh, is after the, the race um, both Steve and Ned Overend came over to me and said hey welcome to Xterra and we're really glad to have you and it's a, it's a great pleasure and you were such a, so, such a good runner are you going to do more of these races and um, I was really struck by their humility and, and their friendship and we, uh, we competed every weekend or every time we raced Xterra throughout the season and um, despite the borrowed bikes I, I won the USA series and uh, Ned must have seen something he liked because just after the USA championships he said hey Conrad would you like to ride for Specialized and I said sure um, thinking that uh, often there's a lot of talk when it comes to sponsorship and it doesn't always pan out and uh, a week before World Championships there was a brand new specialized um, M5 dual suspension mountain bike with the helmet and new shoes and uh, the first tubeless tires I've ever owned, tubeless wheels and to me it was a, it's like riding a motorbike um, and I won World Championships by 10 minutes uh, and Ned Overend was fourth that year and um, so Ned is like just send, tell me where to send the contract and uh, I wasn't sure how much to, I had no idea what to ask for so I uh, asked Ned how much should I ask for and Ned said ask X and I asked for X and that's what I got and uh, that's, that's been my relationship ever since with the Specialized, I never looked back and uh, Ned, Ned has been especially a, a real inspiration to me um, since then. The first time I, will, I won Xterra in 2001 um, I told myself uh, I want to win this world title five times um, and since then I've had uh, I won three world titles and I've had a number of uh, disappointments, some of them mechanical, some of it was my own fault, um, but um, I, I, I want to put my name on the sport properly by uh, winning five world titles. Um, so I think in two more runs, if I have good, if I have good clean runs, I, can, I think I can win two more titles and uh, I enjoy the sport, I'm really passionate about what, I'm, what I do and uh, I dream about five world titles.